With the ghost of President Howard Dean haunting us, despite a huge early lead in the polls in Iowa, it didn't turn out that way, let us examine the latest entrals that seek to determine Iowan preferences at any precise moment. Just before Thanksgiving, the ABC Washington Post poll reported that Mitt Romney was still ahead of Mike Huckabee, 28 to 24 percent. But Huckabee was clearly surging. Now, over this past weekend, the Des Moines Register poll reported that Huckabee is now leading Romney, 29 to 24 percent, among likely caucus goers. On the Democratic side, our pre-Thanksgiving poll reported that Senator Obama had moved ahead of Senator Clinton, 30 to 26 percent. And this weekend's Des Moines Register poll also found Senator Obama leading Senator Clinton. It said 28 to 25 percent. The Register newspaper's poll story said Mike Huckabee has leaped ahead and that Barack Obama has pulled ahead. But leaped or pulled? Are you, Rick Klein, ready to call this race in Iowa on the basis of these latest polls? Yes. What do you say we take off the next month and go to Hawaii, Sam? You no, I need the work. <laughs> well, I do, too. No, obviously, this is, this is a, an extremely volatile race. Everything we, knew, we thought we knew about the race just a few weeks ago seems to be upended when you talk about all of this movement at the top end of this and even at the bottom end. Lots of folks are moving all over the place. And we've seen in the past, Iowa, Iowa voters have a tendency to make up their mind very late and to change their mind several times before they end end up casting their vote in the actual caucus room. But we want to bring in for some perspective right now ABC's polling director, Gary Langer. Gary, curb our enthusiasm a little bit here. What can we tell from these polls? What can't we tell from these polls? We can tell quite a lot about where the race stands today. They're essential for that purpose. Indeed, all the discourse we're hearing about what's going on in Iowa, what the candidates are doing, what we're talking about is fueled by these uh, studies of public opinion in that state at this time, and they are very accurate. But we need to be careful in evaluating them and keep in mind that a poll is an estimate. This is not laser surgery we're doing on your eyeball here. We interview four or five hundred people and can tell you with a few points of certainty uh, where the candidates stand and more importantly why. Who's coming to these decisions? What issues matter to people? What's driving the voters as they approach and make these choices? And indeed, how firm are they in their choices? We learn all that and more from the polls. It comes out to much more than simply a horse race number. We shouldn't lean too much on these horse races. They are what they are. But uh, when the uh, Des Moines Register has a three-point numerical advantage for Obama, that's not really a lead with a lot of confidence. It means it's close. And when we peel back the layers, we can see why it's close. Same in the Republican race. And that's where the real interest, I think, lies. So when we talk about the phrase leaped ahead, we have to go back several months. Yes, you go back several months, he's leaped ahead. But in the last few polls, it's been a steady encroachment upward for people like Mike Huckabee. All right, let's look at Huckabee for a minute. Now, he went from 8% support in the poll we did in July to 24% in the poll that, that we did just before Thanksgiving and 29% now in, in, the, in the register poll. Clearly, Mike Huckabee has got the mojo going in Iowa. And when we look at it, we can see why. The groups that have lined up behind him are the core Republican groups that really didn't have anywhere else to go. The conservative Christians, the evangelical Christians. Uh, who were uncomfortable with Romney, who don't like McCain, who have always been suspicious of Giuliani and who did, never clicked with Thompson. They were looking for somewhere to go, and they've settled I in many ways on, on Huckabee, a Baptist minister at this point. Conservative Republicans and others as well, but more than anything, four in ten Iowa Republican likely caucus goers are evangelical Christians. And in that group, Huckabee's gone from 16% support last summer to 44% now, double Romney support. So when Romney schedules a speech to talk about his religious belief, we can understand why, where that's coming from, what he's trying to address from the intelligence that we get from this survey research.